I need to translate that. Hmm, I need a way to open this envelope without anyone knowing I did. I need to hurry before someone catches me. I should get the teapot off the fire. What's up, cat? Suki, tate. What's up, cat? Omawari. What's up, cat? Suki, buruwa. Shizukani Suki Suki Tate What's up, cat? Suki Mate I bet the password I need is in that envelope in the puzzle box. I need to find out which rooms haven't been occupied. It looks like this is as far back as the records go. Who's my favorite robotic cat? Suki, mate. What's up, cat? Suki, mate.
Savannah here. Can you think of anything else about the room you stayed in when you were here? Not really. I'm sorry, Nancy. Oh, oh wait a minute now. Come to think of it. It had a, a, a carved wooden bird that triggered the passage. I hope that helps. I found watery footprints in my room. Did you see them appear? Or were they there and you found them? They were already there. Well, at least that's good. Why is that? To make wet footprints appear, you just need a wet foot and something to put it on. But when they just start appearing out of the blue, ain't nothing too good about that, especially considering what happened to the previous innkeeper. What do you mean? I know you ain't the superstitious kind. Otherwise, you'd be long gone by now, but it ain't always good to talk about the dead, especially those not at rest. How did you get into ghost hunting? I guess you could say I was born into it. <laughs> My daddy'd always drag me with him to these spooky old houses, looking for broken down things to fix up. I guess that's where I got my start. Standing in those old falling apart houses, it was hard not to imagine ghosts coming round every corner. Used to scare me something bad, but somewhere along the road, all the fear turned to curiosity. What is the scariest thing you've seen while ghost hunting? The really scary things are the ones you'll never see. But I guess one of the most frightening places I've been was this little town in the middle of nowhere in Germany. I was there writing a chapter on an old castle that the locals all said was haunted. Hundreds of years ago, the castle had belonged to this terrible family that had a reputation for all sorts of cruelty. At first, I didn't believe the stories, but the more exploring I did, the more I started to see some of the terrible things that had happened there. All those stories... They were true. Didn't find any ghosts. That would have been better, I think. I'd better get going. Bye-bye, Nancy. I can't get out! These look like mirror images. I bet if I could match these up perfectly, I could get out.
getting out of here now. This carving must be the trigger to the secret passage that Savannah mentioned. going on with the water? I definitely don't want to go in there. It looks like they really wanted to keep people out of here. I wonder why. It looks like I need another set of numbers. It gets so late already. I should get to bed. Something is strange about these pictures. I should find a place to print them out. Hello, Nancy-san. Do you believe that people have a sense of what's to come? 
You probably think I'm silly, but I do. Did Kasumi believe this? Why do you ask? Was she worried about things before the accident? I'm sorry. I must prepare. I have more lessons. Hey! So how long have you and Miwako been dating? Officially? Four years and seven months. Non-officially, longer. And before that, um, a long time of me waiting for her to stop being so stubborn and agree to go out on a date with me. What's that wooden thing in the garden? The tree? No, the wooden thing that makes the knocking noise. The door? No, the thing. I'm teasing. You're thinking of the deer scare. Maybe. What is it? It uses flowing water to make weird knocking noises that scare away the deer so they don't eat all of the flowers. Oh, that's neat. Does it work? I don't know. Deer still eat the flowers, but it's hard to tell if they're scared or not. Or that their expressions pretty much look the same. Kind of like this. Hi! I finished the Sudoku puzzle. Here you go. Bring it back if you want more. What does Takai think of your relationship with Miwako? At this point, I think she considers me part of the family. Or at least she lectures me like I'm one of the family. I'm choosing to interpret that in a positive light. I'm back for more nanograms. Here you go. Miwako seems a little annoyed that you want her to leave the Ryokan. Ha! Huh. Tell me about it. Are you going to keep it up? Yeah, it's not just a selfish thing. It's for her own good, too. I'm ready for more renograms. Here you go. I'll talk to you later. See you later. Miwako seems like she's having sort of a rough week. Has she said anything to you about it? Oh, yeah. She's told me plenty. Really? Like what? Blah. Same old story she breaks out every time she's in a bad mood. I don't want to talk about it. Great picture of Bess. I know. Isn't that one great? I really like the picture of you and Rentaro. Yeah, I love that one. Have Miwako and Rentaro been dating long? It's hard to backdate that sort of thing, so let's just say they've been dating somewhere between two and a thousand years. Is it just me, or do things seem a little strained between Miwako and Rentaro? Do they? Come on, make with the details. I don't really know. It's just an impression. Ugh, boring. Nancy, if we're going to be gossip buddies, you're going to have to work on your follow-through. Miwako seems a little annoyed with Rentaro. Well, that's not surprising. 
Rentaro is super annoying. Super, super annoying. It's part of this reverse psychology bizarre charm he's got. When he's in one of his hyper Rentaro moods, it's like hanging out with a puppy. Except Rentaro is housebroken, and he doesn't go all crazy when there's a cat outside. Well, most times he doesn't. Do you see Rentaro much? Oh yeah, he loves the city. He's here every chance he can get. Do you know why he's so eager to move to the city? Oh, he's been that way forever. When we were kids, he and I used to jump on the train the second my mom turned her back. We weren't supposed to go into the city unsupervised, so Miss I'd Rather Break a Bone Than a Ruro Miwako never came. Although, <laughs> maybe she was right about that. We got in so much trouble every time. Do you know what Rentaro wants to do once he moves to Kyoto? Tech something? I sort of don't listen to him when he's being boring about things. I should go. I'll talk to you later. There's a hidden message. I need to talk to Yumi about this. Hi. There's a hidden message in all those pictures you sent, isn't there? What do you mean? All of these pictures together show a set of numbers in Japanese. This can't just be a coincidence. You're trying to tell me something, aren't you? You're sure they mean something? Maybe you've been spending a little too much time at the Ryoka. I'm positive. You're right. Nice job, Nancy. But why would you do that? Why not just ask me? I know you want to help, Nancy, but that doesn't mean you can help. If you could break this code, I knew you could help me, and you did. But what do these numbers mean? That's the next step. Take a good look around. Think about situations where numbers come in handy. Can you tell me a little bit more? I would, but I'm falling way behind as it is. I need your help. Come on. <laughs> 